Hi guys, Tara here from The Paper Whisperer. Today we are going to be making an altered greeting card as a notebook. I went ahead and covered the notebook or the greeting card for the notebook inside and out. I cut my papers down and got it ready to sew in the signatures because, you know, everybody has seen this. But I'm going to go ahead and poke the holes for my signature. I'm just using my pokey tool and I don't go all the way to the top. I'm going to go a little from the top and the bottom. Poke my three holes. I'm using green embroidery thread and I don't measure my thread because sometimes you use more, sometimes you use less. Make sure your tip is blunt. You don't want it to be sharp. Keep your cover at an angle. I'm using large paper clips. I like my thread on the inside, so I start from the inside, so my thread stays on the inside. You eat, can go from the bottom or the top. I always seem to go to the bottom, and then you go and you find your hole, and you come up through like this, and then you go to the, pull it all the way to the top, go through your top hole, and then you come, you make sure your thread's don't cross and then you come up through the middle again like that always make sure that you have one thread on one side and one thread on the other because if you don't it will not be tight i'm going to take my needle and put my needle back into my bag because i don't want to lose it as that's one of my needles that works well for this project i'm going to pull Tight. Check my back to make see how these are loose like that. That's not what we want. So we got to make sure we pull them tight. Flip it over. See now they're tight. I just played with that one, so that's why it's loose. And then we're going to tie a knot in the middle, and then we're going to tie it again. And then our papers are in our notebook. I always let my my thread hang a little bit because sometimes I put um dangles in these large paper clips you can get at Walmart I did buy some at Walmart for anybody that's looking for them and then that's how your notebook is sewn together I am going to take some of my Tim Holtz fabric tape if I can find it here in this mess I should have grabbed it before I started but I did not bad youtuber here i have this tim holtz tape and i'm going to put it as it's gingham i'm going to put it here on my spine just to reinforce my spine as this is a greeting card so it's not very um sturdy it's sturdy but not you know if it opens and closes all the time you, if you don't have fabric tape, you can make your own. I have made videos. I did make a video showing how to make your own fabric tape. I'm just being um, lazy today and using my Tim Holtz tape. I could have probably made some to match this here, so, but I didn't, as it's gingham. So we could use use this, right? I'm just cutting the extra off and it landed in my tray like you know really that's where it landed okay so now we're going to decorate her up what are we going to put on her i think it needs some some lacy lace on the inside i use um just some papers that i had laying around to put in here i put coffee dyed every other one so i think what we're going to do is I'm going to put, grab my weight here, and I'm going to put white on ev on all of the gingham pages. What about that? How does that sound? Yeah, I think that sounds good. Let's try that out. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well.
so cute i like that so now we're just gonna put this weight here like that so we can hold it down what do we want to put on the cover is the question let me see i have, I have some lace here let's put that there let's see how that looks and then we can do we want let's put this here put that there we want this on top of that, or why don't we do this? And oh yeah, that I like that. Let's put that there, like that, and then we can grab some red lace and bring some red lace up around it. We tie it in a bow, maybe? See if we can tie it in a bow. If we could tie it in a bow, then I'm pretty good today. But I won't waste too much of your time trying to tie it in a bow. Okay, I like that. I really do. So let's get gluing this envelope paper bag or this doily to this paper bag. I just put glue on the back of that. I want you guys to be able to see to see me. We don't need two envelope or two doilies. We only need one. I gotta put glue here. This. There we go. There you go, Susie enough fit for a king i don't know if i want to put this as a bow though i think what i want to do maybe we could put it there we go. let's do it like i don't know let's just glue this down on here and then we can think about what we want to do after we do it. because We can still decorate this, this envelope up. So. Let's glue this down on here, like this. Got that. And then I have these big hollies here. Sorry about the cello noise. I'm going to peel this huge holly off this piece of cello here, if I can get it off of here. And we're going to stick this on here like this. 
and then I'm going to add some more glue to this because it's sticky but not sticky sticky and I want it to stick I don't want it to come off we're gonna do that with this here like that in the front and we have this little piece of holly berry here I think I really like that. Now we just need to make a tag to find a tag to go down in there. That one's too small. That's okay. I got tags over here. I'm sure I have one that will go down in there. Oh. Yep, I do. Right there. So let's make that tag up quick. And then we can call it a day. Just gotta make slide this out of slide this up here for the time being. Put this on a piece on this piece of paper. We'll just stick it right here where I put glue, that's for sure, because we don't want glue everywhere. I won't I don't have to worry about covering the back of this tag because the back you can write on. That's a good thing. And you can write on the back of your tag. And use a little more glue at the top. A little more glue at the top. And then I'm looking for my, there it is. I'm telling you, my desk is ferocious today. Ferocious. I don't know what happened, but it definitely, probably because of all the videos that I filmed, it's, it's definitely met its quota of dirtiness today. Um, I'm gonna have to do white because um, so it doesn't clash because there's so much red. I think this is too short. I think this is too short. We'll see. Might not be. Okay, let's go into our ephemera thing here. Put the decks. That's how we're that's how we're clearing the decks around here lately. Is just throw things out of the way. Let me just randomly pick a piece of ephemera to put on there because you know we don't waste time looking for stuff because everything for Christmas around here is pretty. So that's how we decorate. That's how we decorate. Those stack that stack of books reminds me of. Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. And then we just put it in here like this. And we have this pretty pocket here on the front. And we have this pretty altered notebook for a journal. Or a standalone, whatever. And the only reason why the pages are sticking is because of the Fabri-Tac. Like where we put the lace on. But that won't happen once it all dries. It comes right up. It's just tacky because of that. But that is our little altered Christmas notebook. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, please make sure you like and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye.